Your Lordship, I wish to take you to some facts that are not in dispute. The first fact that is not in dispute is that no candidate was nominated for the election of the 26th of October 2017. Under Article 138.2, we've seen that if there are no candidate who is nominated, an election cannot be held. What was held on the 26th of October 2017 was not an election within the confines of the Constitution. We have looked at the next years of the third respondent, and they have annexed the certificate of nomination for the 8th of August, 2017. The nomination for the 8th of August is not in doubt, expired upon the close of polls on the same day. Can you please give me an authority for that? An authority for? For the fact that that nomination expired, because that is the issue uh, well, yes. that, that yes. you, you are bringing out. Yes. That is the issue you are bringing out, Your Lordship. Uh, I don't have an authority at hand, but the authorities we have say that before you can move to the electoral contest at the voting, people must be nominated. And it is an express requirement of Article 138. That's all fine. Yes. Article 138 talk, I mean, starts with a general election. Your yeah? Lordship, it is a presidential election. Yeah. It is not oh. a general election. Okay. Yes. It yes. is a presidential election. The words are very clear. Yes. At a presidential election, someone qualifies to be nominated as a candidate after having met the qualifications under Article 137. Mr. Uma, yes. the issue here is, is, is this. Yes. The candidates who participated on the, 20, on the election 26th yes. were nominated for election of 8th. Eight. Eight. Yes. You are saying, as far as you are concerned, that yes. nomination expired. Yes. So what I want is an authority for the fact that that nomination expired and that they needed to go under a further or a fresh nomination. Or a fresh nomination. And then we move on. Your Lordship, then first I would uh, direct you to Regulation 16. That is